Hello everyone and welcome to another video. This covers Pocklington's history in the 19th, uh, from the 19th century to the present day. So as I said in the first video, Pocklington is a market town in East Yorkshire, England. And in 1801 the population was listed as 1,502 in the census. In 1819, the National School was built by the Lord of the Manor. In 1834, gas lighting was installed. The railway through Pocklington to Market Wheaton arrived in 1847, later being extended through to Beverley and Hull. The old tannery had closed around 1836. This was situated in Chaplingate. And in 1851, a flax rectory was built on its site. However, in 1856, a fire broke out in the flax stacks. And the rectory was later used as a grain store and following a fire on the 21st of March, 1896, was converted into the Victoria Hall. The fire also destroyed a number of buildings in the town. Fresh water arrived at Pocklington in 1889 with the sewer system and a fire brigade arriving in 1897. The fire brigade being a result of the 1896 fire when fire crews from, had to turn out from York as there wasn't a fire brigade in Pocklington at that time. On the 29th of, of June 1910, the telephone exchange for Pocklington and Market Wheaton opened and it had 19 subscribers for Pocklington and 10 for Market Wheaton. Phones could be used on weekdays between 8am and 8pm and on Sundays between 8.30am and 10am, this being when the station was manned. In World War I, there was a small landing strip built near Barnby Moor. Now, unfortunately, due to conflicting reports, it's unclear precisely where it was located. Pocklington and Barnby Moor were subject to a Zeppelin raid in September 1916 when 24 bombs were dropped, although fortunately all of them landed on open ground. Electricity arrived in Pocklington in 1933. Pocklington also played a part in the Second World War as well, with RAF Pocklington opening in 1941 and closing in 1945. The railway through Pocklington closed in 1965. The old station building was bought by the then teacher of the school and was converted to a sports hall for the pupils to use. The old goods shed was for several years used by Allisons, who were a major employer in the town in the 20th century. After Allisons' closure in the early 1980s, it was taken over by Travis Perkins Builders Merchants. In 1966, the old fire station at George Street was destroyed by fire, and a new station was built next to the bus depot, which had been built in the 1950s. During the last 40 years, Pocklington has undergone a large expansion, with a large number of new houses having been built. In 2003, a prototype of the Cayley flying machine was flown at the old airfield. I hope you've enjoyed this short look at Pocklington's history during the 19th and 20th centuries. Thank you for watching, and I will see you again.